Good evening, viewers. Today we have uh, Gayatri Devi of Alternate Media joining us. Welcome, Gayatri. Thank you so much, Meena ji, for inviting me again. Yeah. So nice to see you. It's uh, It's been a long time. And as you know, friends, she runs a channel called The Alternate Media, which is doing very well. And uh, she brings in several guests, uh, both political as well as other on other topics as well. So really nice to see you, Gayatri. And uh, today we are discussing a very interesting uh, topic uh, because this is something that everybody has been actually noticing. And we're talking about the downfall of the Khans in Bollywood. And it's become so obvious that, see, uh, you know, you would, you would say the last straw was when uh, Shah Rukh Khan came back from shooting and he had injured his nose. So people were saying he's going through a very, very bad phase. And uh, also the fact that, see, Boycott Bollywood has not acted in the favor of the film industry. So do tell us your thoughts on this, uh, Gatri. Ji. Ji. Uh, I think I'll take you a little back. What uh, has happened is a lot of people have not noticed. If you look at the world map, mm. now people will say it's a conspiracy, but just notice it across the world map, okay? Where do you see uh, Shah Rukh Khan being more prominent? Where are the areas? It's Canada, uh, Canada, Europe, and America. Don't you see he's the chocolatey boy, Dilwale Dulhaniya le jayenge, Punjabi ladki, and uh, you know, our ladka and all that. That is the area where Shah Rukh Khan has been minting money. Now let's come to Amir Khan. Can anybody believe that Dangal has made money in China? China. Mm. China. Who watches the Dangal movie in China? Can somebody tell me? Mm. This is what they have been trying to do. And they have been trying to fool us. Coming to Shah Rukh Khan. Shah Rukh Khan, uh, Shah Rukh Khan I have covered. Amir Khan I have covered. Now coming to Salman Khan. Salman Khan, the Middle East boy, Daud boy, the Daud, just called Daud Ibrahim, the right hand man at one point of time. His girlfriends were known to be uh, meeting him for certain collaborations and all. So the world, if you look at the world in large, they have kind of divided and not to cross each other's path so that they have a well, they have their territory, their own area decide. Kar liya. This is how the Khans have been doing across the world. Now, why is the downfall? Is we is this because we hate them? We don't do that. 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 But they they, these are the people who have projected that Muslims are the very, very nice boys, and the girls are the, you know, um, uh, Hindu girls are the ones who want them. If you have to do it, problem. But when you have to do it, you have to And yet, these people do not open their mouths. Is the time you see their hypocrisy, double standardness. This is the most important thing that you have to do it. Why? Because you have to do it in the bathroom. You have to do it in the I dare you for doing that. If Jesus has to do it, I dare you to do that. But no. Tino ki himmat nahi hai, tino ki okat nahi hai, himmat nahi hai. They will not dare, because unko pata hai, agle din unka sar yahan se alag hoga by the way. Ye this Amir Khan, a traitor, mein openly bhoot diyo. Ye banda, chaakar Erdogan se milta hai, the same Erdogan who has been uh, spitting venom against India. Poison. And at a time when the relations between the two countries were at its lowest. Ab kya karne gaye the, wapi chhak marne gaye the. Don't we understand? He is trying to become the khalifa of the world. Aur aap unse milne gaya, what are you trying to do? Let me let me tell you the poison level of all the three Khans. There is a level, huh? Sabse poisonous. Sabse poisonous. Meena ji, who do you think is the most poisonous of all the three? I would Your... say Amir Khan. I Amir. agree. See? Mm -hmm. The one Mr. Perfectionist, chote hai, naate hai, mote hai, kaise bhi hai, jisne apne bhai ko nahi chhoda, unke beti, unke driver, unke driver ke saa shadi kali hai, she is more happy in fact. Right? Mm -hmm. This person has been running shows saying Mr. Perfection. And this man has been going behind India's back in every possible ways. China se paisa lena ho, Turkey ke saath collaborate karna, all are anti-India people, all are anti-Modi people, all are anti-government people. Anti-Modi, no problem. You can criticize the government. Anti-Bharat, uh, uh, not acceptable. Not at any point of time. Who is the second one who is in the poison line? Shah Rukh Khan. This is how I see it. Inka poison jo hai, wo, uh, ISI, inka pyaar jo hai, wo ISI ke saathe limta hai, as we have seen the pictures and the videos that have circulated in the media. Salman Khan is still a person, I would say, is the least of the poisonous of all of them. Least. But compared to, another name in the entry is because we generally compare only three these, these three Khans. There's another one. That is Saif Ali Khan. Is this the Saif Ali Khan jiski wajay se Adi Purush pati thi? Is this the one who has influenced Adi Purush people? Is he the one who said, 
otherwise adi purush a person who has made bahubali a person who have acted in bahubali the same people the same set of uh, uh, skill creators and uh, technology people and then you create such a shit i wouldn't be surprised if we count saif ali khan at number 3 Number four, Salman Khan. Salman Khan can be said to be an arrogant one, one with attitude, nepotism. He, अपने आप को वो मैं ही मैं हूँ and you know nobody apart from that. But when you compare, when you see it from the nationalist point of view, भारत के point of view से अगर देखते हैं तो मुझे इन चारों में सबसे कम लगता है Salman Khan. हाँ थोड़ा एड़ा है, टेड़ा है, पागल है, गधा है. But end of the day, I still see him little. हाँ there is one point. where the country and the world will never forgive him is sushant singh rajput i had done a video and i think that was my one of the starting videos when i started my youtube channel there were 11 points that were connecting salman khan to the death of sushant singh rajput can there be 11 coincidences a coincidence two coincidence three coincidence 11 11 points connecting sushant singh rajput's murder to salman khan is there a possibility mujhe to nahi lagta hai so somewhere or the other he was connected maybe through other the thakre he was his friend or pancholi who was again his uh, what do you say he wanted to pass on his lineage to pancholi now why are they failing this is their background why are they failing let's have a look at it first of all you thought ki people bewakoof hain you know people are stupid people are ignorant people are but this is a time of social media your double standard your hypocrisy the moment you speak here and the moment you speak controversial there or opposite there two minute mein nikal ke aata tha and people are very fast they will compare your both your points together and put it on the social media let people have a look at you let people judge let people uh, make uh, their own uh, beliefs and uh, you know uh, thoughts we don't even need to say anything but your statement here in another statement contradict totally opposite statement there is just putting you in order there sometimes you people are not even doing anything hum aapke bas do pictures aapki statements ke sath jo you know contradictory statements are you laga ke we just put it even in community post and you can make it double standard यंग लड़कियों के साथ फ्लर्ट करना कम ऑन शाहरुख खान यू आर फिफ्टी ईयर ओल्ड फिफ्टी फाइव ईयर ओल्ड पर्सन मुझे एज तो नहीं पता बट यू आर सीनियर सिटीजन अराउंड हाँ यू आर अ सीनियर सिटीजन एंड ये यू हैव द फैंटेसी यू हैव द ड्रीम ऑफ फैंटेसाइजिंग अंगर गर्ल प्लीज हैव सम शेम देर इज नो डर्थ of uh, stories there is no dearth of script there are some youtubers who are going on saying ki script nahi hai script nahi hai script nahi hai let me tell you what they do achhi script hoti hai usko kharidte hain and they dump it so that nobody yes. can make it one of the one of the uh, very sweet books that i read in my life was shiva trilogy by amish tripathi mm. and i contacted him mm. and i spoke to him you know what he said he said my the copyrights to my books have been bought by karan johar and his uh, and his team i cannot make a movie on that This is what they do. पहले से ही खरीद के रख लेते हैं so that uh, another person cannot make it. Make it. This is how they destroy everything. Even if there hmm. are good scripts, अच्छा एक बता I hate Swara Bhaskar like anything hmm. because I mean how can a girl from a decent family background can write something on and Twitter that also Twitter? army army background army background how can she write hmm. things like that right straight forward hmm. there hmm. and yet she has made one of the sweetest movie Neel but it's a nata I mean. my family has watched that movie at least i would say four to five times because when we are mm. sitting in a very light moments you want something light something sweet mm. pleasant mother mother daughter relation and things like that right rajma mm. chawal these kind of st- sweet momentary stories you don't want every time a heavy six pack wala hero dancing around a bush and another girl in half naked clothes dancing around a gone other mm. days we don't want that kind of a stuff anymore please wake mm. up आप लोगों को सच्चाई नजर नहीं आ रही है वी डू नॉट वॉन्ट आर्टिफिशियल नो मैटर हाउ रॉ द रियालिटीज वी वॉन्ट रॉ एंड रियल लोग ट्रैक ड्राइवर हु डिस्कसेस एज जर्नी ऑफ लिविंग गोइंग अराउंड इन सिटीज एंड वेर ही हॉल्स हाउ ही कुक्स इज फूड इन द ट्रक ही वॉचेज दैट दैट इज द काइंड ऑफ थिंग्स पीपल आर वॉचिंग They they are living in an artificial world, high on mm. drugs and uh, drinks, and they try and paint a very rosy picture which is not there anywhere. Who will see it? Who will see it? And then this is first going away from reality. Number two, your double standard. Number three, mm. drugs, drinks, drama. ये तो एक तक बोलने तो माँ बहन ही करके रखी हुई है भाई साहब वो उसका सीरियल है स्ट्रिंगम की तरह ऐसे किस्ता किस्ता किस्ता. I mean fifty years, seventy years old. They starting with a heroine. She mm. goes on to the third generation and fourth generation. Please give it a break, Mama. Yeah. We yeah. don't want that kind of a thing anymore. Mm. 
आपको छोटी स्वीट स्टोरी दिखानी है वेलकम शो अस द रियल लाइफ शो अस द रियल स्टोरीज एंड बिलीव मी हिंदू फैमिलीज और इंडियन फैमिलीज डू नॉट हैव सो मच ऑफ के ऑस एशिस शोज नागिन भी आ जाती है फैमिली में एक टाइम पे मेटामोरफोसिस करके या बॉडी चेंज करके एंड देन देयर इज अनदर पर्सन क्या बोलते हो हां मर के जिंदा हो जाते हैं प्लास्टिक सर्जरी हो जाती है ये क्रैप दिखा दिखा के ट्रस्ट मी इन अफ्रीका अ लॉट ऑफ पीपल वॉच दैट एंड दिस टाइम्स दे कम एंड आस्क मी मैडम do snake do humans become snakes in your society and i was like what <laughs> <laughs> can they but the metamorphosis <laughs> itne level ka metamorphosis hai itne level ka transformation to nahi ho sakta please come out of it so do you have <laughs> zoos because in africa they called uh, black magic as zoo zoo right <laughs> do you have high level of zoo zoo in your country i said nahi aisa nahi hota then why are women of the house all the time crying they have all the time tears in their eyes yeah and yeah. it's so difficult in your family ek ta kapoor influence एक तक बिकॉज वट इज इज डन इज जो सीरियल मतलब पवित्र रिश्ता सास भी कभी बहुत ही ऑल ऑफ देम है वॉचिंग एवरी डे एंड दे फॉर्म एन ओपिनियन अबाउट आर सोसाइटीज वट काइंड ऑफ इमेज इज शी लिविंग या ये देखिए नागिन बन गई है मैडम वट काइंड ऑफ इमेज इज शी लिविंग ऑन द पीपल ऑफ आफ्रीका आई रियली वॉन्ट बिकॉज नाइजीरिया में भी इस टाइप के सीरियल्स आते हैं बट पीपल नो दैट दीज आर ऑल यू नो जस्ट इमेजिनरी but mm. when it comes to india they think that there is some reality to it mm. so uh, i mean uh, see so it the had latest, to go uh, you know the latest news is uh, uh, gayatri that uh, ekta kapoor has joined hands with the kerala superstar mohan lal you know to make a, a, a super duper uh, you know regional film uh, together so she has latched on now to mohan lal's success धन्य 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 मोहन लाल जी भी टपक गए आई वुड से नहीं वो भी तो उसी उसी टाइप का है तो वो उसका भी मां किया है बीच बीच में मतलब ही हैड सर्टेन लेवल ऑफ स्टिल सर्टेन लेवल ऑफ क्रिएटिविटी एंड एवरीथिंग नाउ इट इज गॉट टू द गटर आई वुड पुट इट दैट वे सिंपली बिकॉज़ एनीथिंग एकता कपूर टचेस शी स्टार्टेड विद द यू नो व्हाट ग्लैमराइजिंग सेक्स and minting money because uh, two days back i was uh, i think yeah on the flight while i was traveling just uh, one or two days back there was a movie called dirty picture uh, there are certain very valid points about that picture yeah, there is this story silk smita yeah mm-hmm. silk smita mm-hmm. there is a point mm-hmm. where she says and uh, you know they use vulgarity they use sex they use uh, dance numbers as a boarding pass mm-hmm. as a success for the movie because half of a lot of a large part of the crowd comes to watch those kind of nude scenes mm. now there are points you don't need to go and watch such kind of you know mm. uh, movies also because this already available but the thing is that if you look at a uh, history of the indian cinema it is ekta kapoor who started introducing a lot of wrong stuff and she is the mm. trend setter because mm. her shows become became hit people these mm. were new things people wanted to watch them mm. uh, sex dhokha sex something and dhokha tha sex mm. uh, shaadi mm. or something like that there was a mm. movie may mm-hmm. only the penetration part was left everything else mm-hmm. was shown by this mm-hmm. and ye kapde bhi waisi pehenti hain so mm-hmm. you know maybe it has that kind of a thought and ideology mm-hmm. now uh, to the uh, this uh, her drugs mm-hmm. her drinking the mm-hmm. way they have glamorized all kind of scenes i actually you know i have no words for her mm-hmm. i have no बट शी हैज स्पॉइल लॉर्ड ऑफ फैमिली शोइंग ऑल द नेगेटिव थिंग्स अबाउट फैमिली क्या आपके और मेरे घर में इमेजिन वेन यू यू नो यूर शोइंग एवरी थिंग आफ्टर मैरिज सो यू आर डिपेक्टिंग ओनली द इन लॉज एज बैड और मे बी द गर्ल एज बैड सिमली वन थिंग वेन वी आर विद पेरेंट्स आई यूज टू फाइट अलॉट विद माई ओन ब्रदर सो अगर हस्बैंड से फाइट हो रही है तो कौन सी बड़ी बात हो गई वट इज अग डील अबाउट इट वेर एवर देर आर टू पीपल दे आर गोट फाइट वी आर नॉट रेप्लीकाज इवन इफ वी आर रेप्लीकाज वी विल फाइट बिकॉज द थॉट्स के नॉट बी हंड्रेड परसेंट सेम even when there are monozygotic twins yet you have differences yet you have lot of thinking differences so people will be different there will be us usme usko itna you know you know guys ha yeah. ye jab chal raha tha na ye jo saas bahu ki kahaniyan tab uh, see that was the time when i got uh, you know married and i was just uh, uh, you know uh, wondering how they make the mother in law and sister in law also bad because see the my husband's mother was a very soft person very nice and i was born and brought up in foreign countries so i thought maybe you know this is going to be the situation for us and i found out that there's nothing like that and we can be friends we used to drive together go to restaurants go to movies together you know without my husband okay and when my son came we used to go with him as well so that was a kind of relationship we had but to spoil that these serials came to pollute the minds of young girls you know to say that see when you go to the in-laws house you better be prepared for hostility 
Right. Sorry, something just uh, opened up. Yeah. So coming back to these Khans, uh, yeah. Meena ji, they were going to go down. See, ek, there's a point of time. You can, uh, there's a saying in Hindi, jhoot ke pair nahi hota hai. Huh. Right. It runs very fast. Hmm. But then when the truth catches up, when the truth catches up, you hmm. have, it, it disappears into the thin air because it does not have any existence. Now, um, what do I say about these Khans? I don't have anything good to say. It's not only him. These people, there's also Akshay Kumar, though he's not a Khan. He's very much a Khan. Agree. He's not a Khan, but he's a very much Khan. See, in <laughs> the way you have made the industry like, you know, a close circle of people, mm. they will not let anybody from outside enter in. Yeah, there is that is the reason. Even you know what, Kamina ji. These days, if you talk about Bollywood, no people don't want to hear or hear also mm -hmm. because they have made made it so messy. Rather, if you for rather if you talk about Hollywood or if you talk about the smaller regional cinemas, people still want to hear. Yeah. But they have made it in, into such a dirty state. No people don't want to hear also what they are doing, what parties they are attending, what is their lifestyle, how much money they are spending, how much property. There was a point of time when you just make a small what two minute video, how much property Shahrukh Khan has. There will be millions of views down. Nowadays, nobody gives a crap. They have lost respect. They have lost love. They have lost faith. They have lost the latest, trust. Uh, you know, the latest news I heard is that his daughter not only became an ag agriculturist, she has bought three uh, very expensive houses. From where the they money come. is coming, God alone knows. She doesn't have even one film in hand. No, Papa, what do you say? His father is such a this thing, so she doesn't need to bother about money. <laughs> Why does she need to bother about money? ISI wale waise bhi unse bahut milte rehte hai, udhar USA me, London me, ya Dubai me. There's so many meetings going on. Why do? Why does she need to worry about all those things? She doesn't need to. She. Yeah. So yeah, huh. so this this is the uh, you know see uh, while you look at it in in a sense that see uh, these people are uh, fossilized and they should be get out of the industry. I also see it as a very important thing where uh, from the moment that SSR died, okay, tab se aaj tak ek film bhi hit nahi hua in logon ka. And they are scared because they feel you know like they see all this uh, Samka you know story. It is like a curse. From SSR, that none of their movies will be successful. So somewhere they are very scared that see it is the effect of SSR on the public that has made them boycott Bollywood. You know, so this is something that they are scared of. Now that is the reason why Salman Khan is running after Bansali. You know, because no, none of his home productions have worked. Now he's running after Bansali. Give me a movie. You know, please give me a movie. At least let me make one hit. They will not be a hit. Mm. Even if they apologize now, people will mm. people will not trust them. They have lost the uh, see. आपने एक बार विश्वास तोड़ा, आपने दो बार विश्वास. There is a saying: You fool me once, shame on you. You fool me twice, shame on me. Right? आपने एक बार बेवकूफ बनाया, दो बार बेवकूफ बनाया. लोगों ने माफ किया, माफ किया ना. And why the Sushant Singh Rajput was a breaking point? I'll tell you that. It was not because of his death, but the kind of insensitiveness in लोगों ने जो दिखाई ना. Mm -hmm. That they were not at all worried. He ha ha party is going on. In fact, there were a lot of people saying that this was a telecasted live uh, on the mm -hmm. dark uh, web when he was, mm -hmm. you know, being uh, murdered. Uske baad jo jo insensitivity in logo ke dikhi na. Do shat likhne mein kya ja raha tha apka? Rest in peace, mm -hmm. Shushanti. We will miss you. You were a good boy. You were a good talent. We will miss you. Is itna likhne mein kya ja raha tha? But in one jo akkar dikhai, oh, we are the Khans, you know, we are the Bollywood. Oh my God. Yahaan par Raja ko road pe aane mein time nahi lagta hai, yeh wahi bharat hai. Aur road se kisi ko uthha ke Raja banane mein time nahi lagta hai, yeh wahi janta hai. To aap koon se bade khet ki muli ho, koon ho aap? Bharat ki wo janta hai, jab pyaar barsa aati hai, to kya bolte hai, ek bhikhari ko bhi Raja bana deti hai. Aur jab gussa aata hai, to bade se bado ko niche do minute mein khada kar deti hai. Absolutely. Yeah, this is this is this is what the power of the people is. When mm. they love somebody, they love from the heart, from mm. their soul, from their inner inness. People say Indians are emotional fools. I actually mm. agree. We are fools. We are fools. Why? Because we love somebody from the, a pure heart, from our from from the inner core. Mm. But when you fool, you also see the wrath. आप छुप नहीं सकते ना आपने प्यार देखा तो आप गुस्सा भी झेलो. It has to be those ways. And these three. 
not only these three i i will include saif ali khan also because he is mm. the one there was no ramayan there was no mahabharat yeah. and then yeah. rana gave me a befitting reply that even before your bharat independence and all that there was mahabharat so she gave a very befitting reply to him the thing is that they exploited us they yeah. used us they used us as a mat as a milking mm. cow mm. problem kya hai na inke naam hi sab kuch rukha hua hai khan I don't want to say anything beyond that. Uh, there was somebody who married a six uh, uh, Aisha who was fourteen years, not even fourteen, nine years old girl. Similarly, they are doing the same thing. They are marrying. Uh, they are showing romance with a seventeen-year-old girl, eighteen-year-old girl. Shame on you guys. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. अपनी उम्र के लड़के नहीं मिलती रोमांस करने के लिए या तुम्हें स्क्रिप्ट नहीं मिलती है जहाँ पर आप बात कर सकें जी. Yeah, and also the fact that see their treatment of women has never been equal. you see you look at all the women they have exploited over the years even if you'll take a movie like pathan in that what have they done to deepika you know deepika is actually see she's a good looking actress and uh, he could have used her but what did he do he stripped her to to show us that see hindu women can do anything for them you know so it was like another love jihad they were showing on uh, pathan only thing no, was that it hit back on them you know i i look at it from both the ways jaise aap keh rahe ho i look at it from both the ways number one uh itne i mean you are showing even your panty line literally your panty line are you so in need of money that I, I i we all know people who have you know after they've not been successful in the bollywood they've gone back to their home and they're living a respectful life there are many names in that category especially coming from himachal but are you are you in so bad of movies that you really need to i mean that you will expose every part of your organ even the minutest part which you, yeah. i mean even the prostitutes do not expose mm-hmm. prostitutes stand in wrong way their body language is different but the way you are exposing even the mm. prostitutes don't expose mm. are you so much trapped there is a there is somebody from dubai once upon a time who told me a story and i actually i believe in that now because after speaking especially they pick up adukone these girls when they go to dubai a lot of pictures are taken and they are used as cards later on when they say no we'll make it viral mm. if you say no we'll do this okay. if you and they are held hostage all their life Yeah. being tossed around from one place to another from one person to the other and mm. from here to there what do you what do you think they are going to dubai for dubai mm. is such an expensive place let me tell you i come from a decent family background yet mm. when i go to dubai i do not lay my fingers on products but ye log jaake rehte hain five star mein one night is one lakh kaun deta hai bhaiya paisa itna who's paying for your who's paying mm. for your hotel bill and what have you done that you're paying their hotel bill if you mm. look at certain surveys from the modeling agencies a girl gets around 3000 to 5000 rupees for one shoot for one mm. product mm. where is the rest of the money coming from mm. where is the rest of the money coming from is it not coming under the table and what are you doing mm. that it is coming under the table for who is paying mm. you so much so nobody is paying you for your just your beauty if you really look at beauty please go to russia bahut sari ladkiya jo literally jhadu pocha bhi karti they are much more beautiful than I would say ninety percent of us Indian girls, mm. they're mm. so damn beautiful. Go to Morocco, mm. you'll find so many. But what is so special about Deepika Padukone that she's mm. being hired and not a Moroccan girl? After all, this girl who is uh, with Akshay Kumar so many times in so many movies. What is her name? Um, that I, um, um, welcome movie. Me, she was with him with Akshay Kumar. Um, I'm forgetting her name. Mm. <laughs> um, you know, in welcome movie, that that comedy mm. movie, she is. She, yeah, uh, she was there. Yeah. She was there, yeah. So they are picking Tamana, talent. Tamana, from... Tamana, Tamana. Not Tamana, not Tamana. Ah, uh, with them. Ah, ah. Uh, the the tall girl. Ah, uh, uh, ah. Just chill, chill. वाला गाना जिसने किया था. I am such a bad this thing. <laughs> okay, I forget. I'm a Bollywood girl. So uh, she's that Muslim girl who got married uh, to Vicky Kaushal. Vicky Kaushal से किसने शादी की? Ah, Katrina. Katrina Kaif. Katrina Kaif. Yeah, she's yeah. also not Indian. No, उसको भी तो लेकर आए ना बाहर से. So is there a dearth of people? But then why only Deepika Padukone? And Deepika Padukone, what was such a crisis that you landed up exposing literally so bad, so bad that you know uh, you cannot watch those kind of that, that you know that uh, doggy वाला movement that she has made in the uh-huh. song. बॉलीवुड 
So no, they are going to have all these diseases because because they're moving around so much and they're not. Yes, moving, uh, yes, they are basically a scots. You said it all, and it's not only just um, women. A lot mm. of the people don't know it's the demand for men is more than women. Let me tell you that. Mm. And I did have talks with two or three, but they're not ready to come on. Uh, they're not ready yeah. to come on the show because it is their bread and butter. Mm. and they have to maintain a secrecy about their clients because they are they are serv- they are servicing so many high profile people mm. that is the Want reason why people like sandeep singh are a success they are a success What yeah because the leanings are different See, anything which is not related to reality anything which is not related to nationalism anything which which curses india which shows india in negative light or which shows hindus in negative light which shows mm. lot of cheesiness you know everything goody goody and nothing bad and six pack up please gone other days yeah. i would be happy to watch a woman in 55 75 doing some real a uh, real nice uh, show rather than something fake yeah. right yeah. so um, so you know even that i was, was rather was, shocked uh, rather shocked when i saw uh, this uh, serial called uh, what do you call uh, uh, something that uh, recently kajal has come into it and uh, last stories my god you can't believe the kind of series last, they are showing last you know? stories ha last stories i don't know uh, how they can even do it because they are again now they are changing uh, the lifestyle of a family they are trying to pollute them and this this is all I, what i would say pollution movies you know to uh, See, break up a family that, I, the same thing i'm saying they are trying to pollute the family system they want to go in the western style and the west is coming to the eastern style that is also very interesting mm-hmm. people there now they look at oh the joint system in india was very good even now i see there's a lot of sensible people around okay there's a problem between the women because of the fam- because of the kitchen and because it starts mm-hmm. with women let's be very honest about it so what they do is like in you know where my parental home is what they do first floor first bahu second floor second bahu third yeah. floor Uh, they will stay so like sabka we'll kitchen hai lage but we'll stay together let's be happy everybody will have their own private space also and you know that way like they are trying to find modern ways to modern problems it's not that but yeah. the way they are polluting i have no words yeah absolutely yeah i have no words yeah and also see one thing that these the khans are doing because they are now become non existing is that they are in trying to engage uh, people through social media by saying that see i'll give you 5 minutes you ask me any questions okay so if we ask them frank questions like see how many times did you uh, times did you do botox okay or how many times did you do liposuction would they answer it this frankly speaking is only to remain relevant you know you're not going to say the truth never never wow. they will never tell you how many times botox how many times lip job how many times nose <laughs> if you look at uh, kiska uh, shilpa shetty i think she got her nose done many when i went and watched ek bar aise wo gana that going wo kitabe bahut si padhi hu i am a old year i might be young but i like old songs and the sweet <laughs> songs you know so aise ek din gana aa raha tha tv pe and i just thought her nose is different than what nose there was an indian dance or some shows she said na iska nose to bahut alag hai iska matlab she got it changed <laughs> when you realize that you know these people having what is your beauty then i think a uh, lot of people say i am aishwarya rai fan actually i am a fan of her there yeah. there are few points at least that girl dis- despite the fact that she was being dished or she was being she was beaten by salman khan i think nobody dared to raise a ha- hand on a celebrity like her she never went public whatever is going on even with jaya bachan having a sass like jaya bachan oh my god i can only imagine <laughs> no words no comments yet she stays peacefully no matter what the problems in the family are but do you see her the way the others are moving around no she there there's been something very quiet and stable and i would say pleasant about her personality given everybody else around we have seen many but i think she is the most sophisticated more agar aap ne ye bhi suna hoga कि अमिताभ बच्चन और उसके साथ एक बिजनेस चल रहा है आप उस, उसके बारे में भी सुना होगा आ मीना जी आई डोंट नो व्हाई मुझे थोड़ा सा उस चीज पे डाउट लगता है आई डोंट नो समथिंग दैट इफ यू हियर दैट यू विल नॉट लव हर फॉर इवन अ सेकंड मोर व्हिच गर्ल वुड हैव गॉन इन दैट फैमिली नो मैटर व्हिच गर्ल वुड हैव गॉन इन दैट फैमिली द स्टोरी वुड हैव बीन द सेम whether you replace it with uh, 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 replace aishwarya rai with kajol rani mukherjee or even with karishma their story would have been same because see in that family 
more than abhishek bachchan it is amitabh bachchan who is known and he is more popular and he is more famous to mm-hmm. unke sath kisi ko bhi attach karna ya wo karna mm-hmm. is very normal okay baki behind the curtain people can talk any shit mm-hmm. i mean we all talk all kind of things mm-hmm. but she ha- i don't think so she needs money because she has plenty of money but ha if the greed has no limit then there is no limit there is saying. a business and there is a business that uh, neither you nor i as women would ever endorse so that i mean i can't uh, speak about that because it's uh, you know uh, everybody knows what it is and it's worse than even child trafficking so that's what they say is she is into an al- alleged business which is very frightening so you remember the panama papers and a lot of other things also they were involved so uh, same thing that see all these people are involved in it because this is a quick way to make money because they know that their uh, life span is very short in movies you know and they cannot survive until they make quick money like politicians in fact the politicians and they are parallel they go parallel in the five year term that they are they make as much money as possible to last their lifetimes so so i agree yeah. i agree yeah but yeah. this is how their lives are we don't know the reality because ye maya nagri hai what is bollywood yeah. is maya yeah. nagri maya ka jaal the real story may not be out hmm. unless and until they are died or somebody from very hmm. close to them comes out and you know tells hmm. the entire story freely and frankly but then there are so many versions of their stories that you really it's really hard ki kaun sa wala true hai right ajay is asking please talk about ssr also your views on what is happening in the ssr case uh ssr case after uh, the new government in uh, this thing has come i think ajit pawar or i uh, know devendra fadnavis has reopened the files on sushant singh rajput case this is the lit i got 3 4 days back this news i got and on my channel somebody covered it also that uh, it's other uh, there are two cases which are being reopened number one is the the pujari wala case the the one you know that uh, that killing of the sadhus palghar sadhus and sushant singh raj these two cases are uh, have been reopened and there is a thorough investigation going on hmm. but i think it is the same where it has been hmm. yeah exactly and not only that yeah. see to when they uh, make deals you know this is one of the way to butter you know their positions so that will be uh, the same continuing and uh, uh, viewers gayatri wanted to take off after Uh, 30 minutes because she has another engagement so we will continue and uh, thank you so much gayatri for joining us and giving us your uh, viewpoints thank you so Bye-bye. much to all the viewers please like subscribe and share candid meena ji she really works hard and getting all the news and information is not easy jo aapko lagta hai ki we are no we are sitting here and we are just blabbering no it takes a lot of efforts calling different people getting from different sources sometimes you have to cross check also ki whether the information coming is correct, correct or not correct so it is a it is really a hard task it's not that easy and we people do not even have support like the big social big media as you know like the tv channels have their own sources and all so please Uh, do us a favor please like subscribe and share that's the least you can do for us thank you so much uh, meena thank ji you. thank you thank you jai and bye bye jai hind bye yeah friends so we'll continue on uh, 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 c- continue with this uh, theme on uh, why the bollywood uh, khans are now facing a crisis see what you will see is that see so many things are coming you know like when you say when you talk about uh, uh, in in our astrological sense we will say a person is facing his shani dasha which means the worst time in his uh, astrological chart that's exactly what the khans are undergoing now and uh, by khans i am also including akshay kumar in it and saif khan you know all the khans in it plus our uh, you know um, akshay kumar i would add the name khan to him also because he is the same now see what's happening is that they have been trying their best to revive their uh, career by doing several things you know uh, uh, for instance uh, what akshay did was he brought out like a stream of movies you know within a month another movie another movie till boni kapoor said that these people were uh, you know uh, making movies with only deadlines uh, you know uh, put there and he said this is really bad they're not concentrating on anything now look at the person who's topic talking we know what is boni kapoor's involvement with sri devi and how that whole episode happened so we cannot trust even one of them in bollywood and if you look at what uh, happened to shahrukh khan he broke his nose he came back and then if you look at uh, what his uh, daughter has done is she has brought her very luxurious three properties after becoming an agriculturist 
Now, being an agriculturist, I would wonder uh, what are the what is the criteria for uh, buying land as agriculture? You know, land and what is the you know what are the conditions that you need? A friend of mine was saying that see, as an agriculturist, he had to wait for a long time to get his papers feared. You know, to say that he seriously had an interest in agriculture. Now, where, where this girl's Khan is concerned, she doesn't know most probably what is the difference between French beans and long beans, you know. So it is this kind of girl who has been entrusted this. So it's a very clear case of uh, perhaps money laundering. Okay. Then the second, third thing is uh, you know, there were rumors that see uh, his wife was selling her, uh, you know, used bags, uh, branded bags. And then you had the rumor of her son also saying that he didn't want to act in movies mainly because he, uh, uh, you know his son also realized Aryan Khan realized that his father's movies were all flopping one after the other after, can you imagine after four years he comes out with a movie like uh, Patan and in that not even one original scene every scene has been picked up from uh, Marvel series okay everything and uh, on top of it, you know, as it is, people have so much of hatred for Salman Khan. They include Salman Khan also in the last few scenes. And it is as if they are mocking the, uh, you know, the right wingers. He says that, see, nobody can replace us. We will continue to be, uh, you know, the, the uh, ruling the, uh, you know, the uh, arena, which is the industry. Now, these were jokes that they made for the uh, front, uh, uh, you know, people who sit in the front, uh, front benches as you would say, you know, so it did not uh, actually ring anything with us as because we just thought it was just a stupid, pure, poor, poor joke, you know, and so they are absolutely desperate. And then, as I told you, Shah Rukh Khan came out with this, uh, you know, ask me anything uh, questions in social media. You can ask me anything and I'll reply. Frankly, even that became a flop. Meanwhile, as you see, Amir Khan has nothing to do uh, nowadays except attend weddings. So you'll find him in different kinds of Sherwanis, you know, and, uh, you know, sometimes people say, why does he dress like a beggar? Because that's how, uh, you know, uninterested he is in his clothes. Because, see, somewhere he got such a big jolt. First of all, he brings a movie that is, you know, a remake of a very, very popular movie that everybody in the world would have seen it, whether it's a dubbed version or not. So a movie of Ta Tom Hanks is seen by everybody because everybody loves this hero. Now you take that movie after so many years and you become the hero in that. First of all, people have so much of anger against Amir Khan. All the things that he has done, you know, including making his brother, you know, go crazy. So uh, it has come out of his uh, brother's mouth that, uh, you know, the, he tried several things and it all pointed out to the fact that, see, he wanted to grab his property. So you can imagine how much greed this Amir Khan has. And you look at his uh, marital life. He was not happy with one woman. He kept hopping from one woman to the other, you know. And this, this was only, and even the, uh, you know, the last uh, uh, wife that he had was only a business relationship because that woman was quite intelligent. And he wanted to use her business acumen to succeed. So every time Kiran Rao, after that, he goes on to the heroines. So this man is a man without character. OK, and then he talks about his frustration about the fact that he's shot and that uh, he was worried about coming into films because of his uh, short stature, you know, when compared to people like Amitabh Bachchan. And yes, people made fun of his height, you know, and other than his own glorified, because see, there was no social media at that time. And we used to think that he was a very perfectionist actor. He could do anything, you know, but that was all his PR at work. We never realized that this man is so evil. And then his visits to Turkey and uh, he, his best friends were uh, Pakistani people. And uh, they were also Junaid Jamshed. You remember he died in an uh, air crash and uh, his leanings towards, uh, you know, uh, almost fanaticism. OK, so all this made him an enemy of the public. And then you have the Salman Khan. So what is Salman Khan's uh, reputation? He wears a lungi and he mocks. Uh, South Indians doing a very vulgar dance. Nobody in uh, uh, South wears uh, lungi that way, you know. And the kind of vulgar dance that he did, you know, was enough for people to not even watch the movie. Now, he tried his best. He acted with the top of uh, South Indian actors, everything. But the movie flopped. 
What he did was he thought that maybe because the heroines are getting old, like Katrina Kaif and Deepika and all these people are getting old. So let me go on, latch on to a younger actress. And that's how he came out with uh, Pooja Hegde. Now, Pooja Hegde is a very beautiful girl who's done pretty well in uh, South. She also, he spoiled her fate also by making sure that his film flopped royally. And not only that, his, it is almost like his condition is that, see, if I'm going to put you in a film, you better have an affair with me. It's that kind of thing. So you can see the kind of uh, emotions that the heroine who's acting with him goes through as he treats her most shoddily because he's known to be very, very violent as well. So we do not know under what state he is, whether it's alcoholism or whether he's taking some drugs, but he can be very violent to the women that he has been, uh, you know, uh, associated with. So then you are left with another Khan and that is Saif Khan. He also, what did he do? He came in Adi Purish thinking that he's going to be, uh, you know, something like Lord of Rings, uh, you know, is going to be a super success, you know. And what happened was he flopped. Uh, you know, miserably, because first of all, he is a man who has not maintained himself. He has become obese. And as a hero, he will not work, nor as a villain, because he came in as Ravan. And he came in as Ravan, as a Ravan that nobody could even visualize. Because Ravan is not seen in the Mahabharata, uh, or in the Ramayana, as a villain. He is seen as someone who, uh, you know, was a, a Brahmin who worshipped uh, Lord Shiva, who had a very, very strong stature as a king, who, uh, you know, uh, took uh, Sri Lanka uh, or uh, Lanka into a golden era where people were all well fed and uh, everybody, you know, it was, uh, you, there was no unhappy person in Lanka at that time. This is all uh, narrated to us by Hanuman himself. So it is that uh, powerful Ra Ravan that Saif Khan is playing. And you can make out that as he comes on that silly, stupid uh, bat, you know, that he's going to flop from day one. So he also, uh, what you call, uh, dug his own hole and fell into it. That's how. Because see, you also see that see these people, they flit from one to the other, except for uh, Shah, Rukh, Shah Rukh Khan. He has also been moving from one woman to the other. You remember, he first had an affair with Amrita, and then he had an affair with an Italian woman, and then moved on to Karina. So these people have absolutely no morality to speak of. And what do they want us to admire them for? Okay, if their real character is not good, at least make your uh, uh, actor, actor's character good. Even there they flop, you know. So it's very obvious that, see, in every sort of way, you know, these people have built, you know, or rather uh, dug their own uh, graveyards. Because now there is no hope for them. Now, uh, see, even if you see... Uh, the, some of the uh, scenes of Jawan, you know, we wonder what it, what is that scene, you know, where he's bandaged. He looks like a Frankenstein in the making, you know, and for all you know, when he says that he had a, uh, you know, his nose got injured, perhaps he wanted to get his nose job done. That could be an excuse for his nose job to be done, you know, so he changes the shape of his nose to look a little younger. So these are all tactics that they use to uh, try to make themselves 20, uh, look 20 year old and act with a 20 year old uh, girl. So these, these are just uh, <laughs> things. And my philosophy, and I wouldn't agree with anybody else on that, is that this was all ordained the moment SSR died. It was, and I would definitely say, he has cursed this industry and the top players in this, the superstars who had so much of arrogance. You remember the, uh, you remember when uh, Shah Rukh Khan used to tell people that, see, only uh, Pakistani cricketers are the best. He made fun of everybody, even the, uh, a man who was, uh, you know, in the stadium. Uh, I don't know whether he was a guard or something. He made fun of him as well. And he tried to act arrogant there as well. So, uh, you know, if you look at their character, they are all so arrogant. I remember an incident when I was in Baghdad and uh, uh, in uh, Dubai, when uh, we were called for a press conference and Amir Khan was coming. He had, uh, his movie was, you know, uh, just going to be released. And uh, he came and sat at the table and see, being journalists, we are busy all the time. We get calls from the office all the time. So we cannot keep our uh, phones, uh, you know, uh, we cannot close our phones, even if it's a press conference. Because see, these people say it's a press conference and they start very, very late, you know. And so we just keep on waiting till they come. So this was one of the times when I went. I usually never attend any of these actors' press conferences. And it was at Le Meridian. And this uh, small midget uh, Amir Khan comes and he sits there 
And uh, as uh, he's talking, as they're talking, I get a call from my, uh, you know, my my top, you know, editor in chief, and uh, regarding something in connection with this uh, press conference. And as I sp spoke very softly, he looked at me and he said that, see, uh, I will not speak, you know, till uh, you know all the journalists uh, switch off their uh, phones. And I saw him looking at me, you know, and uh, immediately I. Politely, I switched it off, you know, and uh, I, I kept it on silent. But you look at the arrogance, you know. He didn't know that I was the editor of a magazine and that I could uh, give a very, very bad review if I wanted of him and his character. But this is how arrogant they were when, when they were at the peak of their character, you know, peak of their, uh, what you call their uh, status or their stature. At that time, their films were hits because there was no social media. If there was social media, they would have been ripped apart because their characters are so, you know, they have absolutely, they're not humane. They can't be humane to people. If, if you talk about the man who died, you know, and the people who died on the street, who were run over, you know, and then you talk about uh, Shah Rukh Khan pleading with uh, Samir Vankhade. All the time he was so arrogant and suddenly when it came to his Aryan Khan's case, he fell at his feet. So this is the, what you call the, uh, they are just like chameleons. They change the moment it suits them. And when they, when they think that they are, you know, running, you know, riding on success, they don't even see you. They look over you. That is the kind of character these people have. So uh, let me just take a few comments, uh, friends. Nirmala. We put these Bollywoodians on a pedestal. Now it's us to ignore, uh, on us to ignore them. Please don't watch reels of actors, airport looks. Yes, absolutely. Well said, Nirbala. Filthy people of Bollywood, says uh, Jasmine. Yes, Ranjita. Yes, absolutely. Boycott Bollywood is on. And a Karan Johar movie is now just uh, released. And uh, another Sajid Nadia Dwala film of, uh, you know, Janvi and... Uh, 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 that Dhawan uh, boy is also there. So just please, all of you, just keep on boycotting till these people go and look for other jobs. Khans are fake and selfish. Just wait and watch. Their end is near, says uh, Jasmine. The Khans are bullies and involved in all kinds of dirty work. We hate them all. The whole jing band of gutterwood. <laughs> Thank you, Vinny. Welcome, uh, Kamal. Uh, Bollywood, Druggywood, Devils, Salman Khan, uh, Shah Rukh Khan, and Amir, and of course there's Saif Khan, and there's Akshay Kumar. Uh, Pooja Hegde should have had some sense, absolutely. Yes, as Khan is, uh, is dangerous. His brother spoke the truth even regarding SSR, says Vinny. Sensible Life says, these people control all the media and force us to watch their reels. Absolutely. So it is on this note that we end this session, friends. We'll come back tomorrow with a lot more news. Uh, good night and Jai Hind.